Okay. In this one, we have that a bullet is shot vertically into the air with a velocity of 450 meters per second. That is our initial velocity. Neglecting air resistance, how long, that's a T, is the bullet in the air? Okay, now um, let's think about this. Our bullet is going to go straight into the air. When it hits its max height, it's going to have a velocity of zero. Okay, at max height, it's going to have a velocity of zero because what happens is it starts here with an initial velocity. It gets shot up at the very top. It stops for a second, and then it heads back down. Okay, so we can use an initial velocity of 450 meters per second, and they gave us a plus. That lets us know it's up, and then our final velocity is going to be zero meters per second. Okay, so it's starting at this initial, it's going up, it stops for one, it just stops, and then it comes back down. Okay, and so we want to know how long the bullet is in the air. Okay, so that's a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the time that it takes for the bullet to go up and stop. And once we find that, we'll have a total, we'll just be able to um, multiply that time by two. Okay, so that's what we're going to do to find our time. And then they did not give us G, but we know G, and G is acting in the downward direction. Okay, that's causing our bullet to slow down because it's pulling it down, and that's 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, let me write the formulas that we have again so we can decide which one we want. So we have an initial velocity. We have a final velocity, they give us a time, and we have a gravity. So we don't have a distance, so we can't use any formula that has a distance. This one has a distance, so we can't use it. And this one has a distance, so we can't use it. So we're going to use that very first formula, and we're just going to plug in what we know. Our final velocity, this is our velocity at the very top, is zero. Our initial velocity is 450 meters per second. Our gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we have a time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this is a negative right here, so I'm going to add this 9.8 meters per second squared t to both sides. And remember, t has to come with it because the t multiplies by the 9.8, so they're, they're like attached. Okay, so then I'm going to have 9.8 meters per second squared times time equals 450 meters per second. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, um, okay, so I'm going to divide both sides by 9.8 meters per second squared, leaving t up there all by himself. And I'm going to draw it like this just to make sure my units cross out. I don't want to do all this work and just to get the wrong answer. So if I check my units, that lets me know that um, I've at least set it up right. So these meters cross out. The seconds cross out with the squared, which leaves us units of seconds, which is good because that's what we wanted. And then we get a time of 45.92 seconds. Now remember, this is the time to get to the top. So in order to get the total time, which is really what we need, we have to multiply that 45.92 seconds by 2, which gives you 91.84 seconds. And this is our total time. 
So this one was a little more difficult because we had to realize that our final velocity was zero because it was at the very top. And then we also had to take our answer and multiply that by two. So that's what made this one a little more difficult than the previous one. So let's try one more. Um, it relates to this one, but this will show you how you can actually be asked two questions about the same problem and it'd be perfectly okay and you'll be able to do it. So now this one says, how high does the bullet go? Okay, so we want to know that distance. So we're going to do the same thing. Okay, our initial velocity is 450 meters per second. Our final velocity is zero meters per second, because remember, we've got this bullet. It's going up here. It's going to stop up there. So that's going to give you your final velocity of zero which is good because we want to know how high it went it went so we need to need find out this distance okay we know that gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared and um, we've also gotten a time now so we can use that if we want to Remember, we're just going to use the half time because we don't need the total time it was in the air, we just need the time it got to that top. And now we can find our distance. Okay, I'm going to write my three formulas here again. Okay, so these are our three formulas. Um, this one does not have a distance, so we can't use this one. Um, we can use this one, and if we use this one, we don't have to use our time, so if you're worried your time from the previous problem, maybe you didn't do it right or something, you can use this one and it's not going to affect your answer. Or you can use this one and just uses your time from the previous one and, um, and it gets your distance. Like I said, either one is fine. It, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I know some people don't like these halves. It freaks them out or something. So um, you're more than welcome to use the VF squared. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this one with my time from before just because it's already solving for distance so I don't have to do any algebra really. My initial distance is 0 meters. My initial velocity is 450 meters per second. And I'm going to multiply that by my 45.92 seconds. Looks like I may run out of space. Okay, this is zero, so I don't have to worry about that. These seconds cross out, so I'll have 450 times 45.92. This is going to give me about 20,664 meters. Now I have my 1 half times my negative 9.8, so I just add that in case you forgot to, like I did. My second squared is going to cross out with that second squared, and so I'm going to end up with 0.5 times negative 9.8 this should be meters I'm going to put the meters right here and then 45.92 squared which is 210864 okay so I have my 20,664 still and then um, if you take all of these and add them together, you're going to get negative 10, 3, 3, 2.37 meters. 20,000 minus 10,332 is 10, 3, 3, 1, point six three meters. So this is how high the bullet went. That's, that's pretty high. Um, so 
And you could have done the same thing. You could have used this second formula, which would have been totally fine, um, and you wouldn't have had to use the time. It just really depends on which one you wanted to do. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. You should get the same answer both ways. Um, so that's how to solve some free fall problems. Um, try the example pro problems that you have and um, ask me for help if you need it in class because that's kind of what I get paid for.